come back. We've got to talk about something that keeps happening. And I know it's not just happening in our area. It's happening all over. So let's come back. We'll get into it. You see the title. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? This is Patrick with Mint 10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video is finding you well. Um, <laughs> as you see, we um, basically lost privileges, I guess you could say, to go to a certain area. Um, it's actually happened a while back, um, but it's a little more serious now. I'm going to drop down the picture in, in what Bill sent me. Bill, not the other Bill. My, my main Bill. Anyway, um, he sent me, and this is regarding Nemo's Tunnel. Uh, if you'll remember a few years back, and I will put a card up here for Nemo's Tunnel. Y'all go watch that video because probably never get to video it ever again. And you'll find out why. So, this is... Um, um, post on uh, from a Winrock, a Winrock um, Facebook page. Um, basically, people keep asking, you know, when are we going to be able to go back through when, um, through Nemo's tunnel? And the post reads: We get asked about Nemo's tunnel in Wartburg. Wartburg. Wart. Wartburg. <laughs> Hey, I didn't name it. I've always heard it was Nemo's ten Tennessee, Nemo, Tennessee, Nemo's Tunnel. Anyway, the town doesn't exist anymore. Flood, gone. Watch the video. You might hear a little more about it. Yes, it's closed. Yes, people still ignore the signs. Here is current situation and picture. Suggest obey our local treasured riding areas before we lose more. And that is so true now forgive me if i get a little overboard with may throw out some four letter words from here and there but it kind of pisses me off that and a lot, let me let me rewind so what was going on at nemo's tunnel to make them close it well what was going on is you would have people that drive through the tunnel now well i geez there's so much to this that just kind of, like I said, ticks me off. Um, so where the tunnel comes out, go down a few hundred more yards, and there is an active, another tunnel and train tracks going through. There is absolutely no reason why this should have been happening at all except for some idiots and i'm sorry I, I i this blows my mind and idiots is what caused us to lose this precious gem of a off-road area um we never got near the tracks me and bill when we went the one time we've been i think he's been another time we never got near the tracks the active tracks there is no reason in hell that somebody should be near the active tracks. Hey, trains can't turn. They're fixed. They're stuck to that track. They're coming through there at 60 miles an hour. They can't stop. They can't do anything different. If you are stupid enough to park your vehicle on the tracks and a train takes it out, which has happened numerous times, that's why the thing got closed. And trains are hitting these freaking vehicles, whether it be a Jeep or a Toyota, what it didn't matter. They were, you would see pictures posted of, hey, we were in Nemo's tunnel. Look at my Jeep on the track. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a little peeved here. Because now we can't go back through there. Look at the look at the gate that they've put across the old tunnel. That thing is massive. That thing is huge. With that said, there is a back way around into that. Now, we don't know if they've closed it off 
two or not, I would imagine so. Because if you didn't, people are just going to, going to go around and go out the back end and come out and be at the tunnel. Do the same stupid thing. Again. But I know we're not the only ones having that kind of problem. You know, I know they have problems in state parks. They have problems in national forests, national parks, public lands, people doing stupid stuff. And I have to ask, why? Why must you do it? Um, it's a gift that we get these things. The railroad came to, um, I forgot who it was. It looks like I'm really close. There we go. Came to the people and said, if you don't stay off the tracks, and they said numerous times, if you don't stay off the tracks, we're closing it down. You think they were joking? Anyway, like I said, I know this kind of crap happens everywhere else. If you're new to off-roading, if you're new to backpacking, if you're new to hiking, if you're new to camping, if you're new to any of this stuff, that's just like pulling up in a state park and you see a campfire still burning after they left. That shouldn't happen either. And I, and I don't want to be, I don't want to come off as an a-hole, but people, you should know better. You should know better. Um, I mean, the very fire that burnt down a lot of Gatlinburg and cabins and stuff was because somebody didn't take care of a fire. Look at all the damage that was done, all the lives they were put in danger. Look at all the uh, other stuff that happened. I mean, what, what's it, what's it got to take? If you're not sure of things, if you have questions in your head before you go out, ask. Remember, there's, there's two major, and there may be another one or two. Throw them out there in the comments if you want to. But leave no trace. That's the first one. Leave no trace. So when you pull out of that campsite, there shouldn't be a fire burning. Smoldering even. Should be cold. Should be trash on the ground. Land between the lakes. Every time I've gone up there the last few times, I've picked trash up out of campsites. And I'm talking about the designated or the dispersed camping. Well, I'll take it back. I picked trash up out of, um, well, it's, it's still, I, the last video, I picked up a little trash around that site. But it takes five minutes to look around before you leave to see if there's any trash laying around. I don't care if it blows out of somebody else's campsite. Pick it up. It ain't going to kill you. I'm, I'm about to be 55 years old. I have all kinds of medical issues that are brought on by myself, putting too much food in this hole in my face. And do I regret it? Yeah, but I bend my big fat, you know what, over and pick up the trash. You could too. You could pick it up that dropped it. And you know you dropped it. You know you left a 12-pack carton of beer carton sitting at the campsite. You were drinking the crap. You know you had it. I picked it up for you. You're, you're very welcome. <coughs> I pick up after myself, and I pick up after others. I, I don't mind doing it, but if the other guy had picked up after himself... I wouldn't have to. I just have to pick up after myself. And that's being good stewards. So leave no trace. Number two, tread lightly. Tread lightly. If you don't know what it is, you're getting into off-road, you're getting into overland, whatever, look it up. Tread lightly is just like leave no trace. If there's not road there, if it says it's private property, if, it's, if it says stay off, train tracks, Stay off. Tread lightly. You know, there's been several times, and, and that's part of what's going on with the dirt devil, is people get in people's fields and think, oh, money, look at me. No, you're... Mm. It ticks me off, guys, because we, we screw ourselves. And it's not everybody. It's a certain few. It's certain ones that don't actually go out there every other weekend or every weekend to enjoy nature 
It's not those people. It's not people like me. It's not people like most of the people watching this channel. It's people that don't care. And think, well, somebody else will clean up after me. You know, that's the biggest problem. Is Everybody's getting kind of tired of cleaning up after you. And so they just shut it down so you don't ever have it again. But I guess you're pretty happy about that. How would you like for me to come do donuts in your front yard? You wouldn't like it. So why would you do donuts in somebody's property or field that they may plow up for farming or whatever they do with that field? Right? Put their horses in it. Put their cows in it. And a cow steps into one of your ruts and breaks a shoulder and dies. That guy just lost a couple grand in a cow. Um, you just don't understand that crap. And there's a time and place for it. There's parks everywhere. There's off-road parks. You want to go get muddy, go get muddy. Um, there's places for it. But when you're on a private or when you're on a road and you see purple or you see posted or you see something like that, that means stay out of it. If you're using a GPS service, they will mark private owned or they even, some of them, whether it be Gaia or Onyx, they will show what is private land, what is public land. Stay off the public stuff. Plain and simple. I'm sorry, but this has got me bound up <laughs> so bad. Bill sent me that and I read it. And it just once again shows people just don't listen. They did not listen. They did not heed the warning. Now it's shut down forever for good. Um, and it's for your own safety. Like I said, that train. And they going to... I missed him. Nope. Nope. Wherever the track goes, that's where that train's going. And I've got a good friend of mine that worked for the railroad. And let me tell you something. If you don't think that messes with those engineers that are driving those trains to hit a vehicle, hit a person, well, you got another thing coming. It's just like shooting somebody. You're, you're killing somebody and you had no, well, with the train, you had no way of stopping it, making it not happen or anything. And now you got to live with the fact that you killed that person because they were doing something stupid and trying to get their, well, and there's people that have done it on purpose, but when you put yourself in that situation and you shouldn't have, you know what I'm saying. All right, guys, I'm going to stop right now because it's going to be a ramble on. That's it for this one, guys. Uh, I got some other stuff coming. I'm still working on a couple of videos and uh, you will see those soon. That's it for this week. Appreciate you watching. And um, hey, if you see somebody new out there and you might lead them in the right direction, do so. If you see them doing something they shouldn't be doing, help them out. If they don't want to listen, I don't know what to do. I guess tell authorities that they're screwing up. And if they get in trouble, they get in trouble. All right, guys, that's it for this one. See you next week. Be prepared.